Hey there, welcome to Let's Make Things, in which I walk you through the process of making something. In this case, we are doing a dynamic door block in AutoCAD. And in our last video, in our last videos, we created the block, we made it so you could scale it, we made it so you could rotate it. And in this uh, video, we're going to add the ability to be able to flip the block to make it a right-handed door instead of a left-handed door, and to kind of add all that functionality together. So in the end, we're left with a door that we can uh, we can have all this different functionality built into, and you can just drop the door in, you can resize it, you can rotate it, you can flip it, and you don't have to worry about doing all sorts of, of uh, other geometric functions to your, to your drawing to be able to make your drawing look the way you want it to be. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in to modifying this block so that it can be flipped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select an instance of the block. I'm going to go ahead and open the block editor. I'm going to select the block here in the list. It's already selected because I made the selection here. And I'm going to click OK. As with all dynamic properties that you're trying to add to your block, it comes, comes in two pieces. You have a, 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 param a parameter that you add, and then you have an action that drives the parameter. So in this case, we're going to add a parameter, and I'm here on the block editor tab on the ribbon. and I'm going to add a flip parameter. Now, all that really matters in this case, in terms of placement, is that I'm making sure I'm flipping it on this door. And I could have my base point be here, I could have it be anywhere. I'm gonna actually just put it right there in the middle. And I'm gonna specify a second point that I'm gonna flip along, and I'll go ahead and just drop my anchor in there. And uh, it's gonna ask us how many grips we'd like. We want one grip so you can actually flip it. We'll change the name of it right now. So I'm gonna go into properties on that, that parameter and we're just gonna call it flip. And you'll notice it's there, but it's not driven yet. And that's what that little, that little yellow exclamation mark means. So let's go ahead and add an action to drive that parameter. And coincidentally, there is a flip parameter, a flip action there. So let's go ahead and select it. And now we select all the actions that we wanna flip and then we confirm our selection. Now, if we don't do anything else, it will work just fine, but this flip parameter, this uh, the handle for it, isn't going to rotate when you rotate the block, and it isn't going to scale when you scale the block. In order to make that happen, let me show you here what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and save and close. And you'll notice in this case, it's fine. It's a little high up. It was a, a kind of halfway down the block when we made the block originally, but that's okay. You'll notice here it doesn't actually change, and if we go to rotate, it doesn't change at all. Now, if you click it, it still works. Um, it's just that that handle won't move. So let's go ahead and modify the block so that that all happens. And the way to do that is we're going to modify the selection set for the scaling action and for the rotating action. So let's go ahead and do that. We just right click on the little icon, go to action selection set, modify selection set, and in this block, it's as easy as just selecting everything. And we're going to do that for both of these. So modify selection set, select everything, and we're good to go. So it's going to save the block, close the block, and now you'll notice that in fact, it stays at the midpoint on the, on the wall there, we, on the wall, on the, the door. We can flip it, we can rotate it, we can scale it, and everything goes along with each other. So, that's how you do that, that's how you make that block. And again, you can see here, um, you've got the option to flip it or to not flip it. And, and you can uh, modify all your parameters in here and say we want a 36 inch door, we want it to be at a zero degree angle, all right? So let's say we have, uh, let's see here, a four inch wall, it comes down, comes back. I need to not draw it arm's length. Um, let's go ahead and flip these. Or make an opening here is 36 inches. I don't know why you would ever draw this way. This is a terrible way to draw. Uh, so we've got our opening here. What you can do, let's say this is your wall, you can just drop this sucker right in. And if it comes in, it's going to come in because I made it, it comes in at 28 inch or yeah, 28 inches. You can actually just click it. You can snap right to that point and have it work just perfectly like that. 
So that is it for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to the block in the description. You can take it apart, you can play around with it. I'm using AutoCAD 2016. Um, I'll save it in 2007 file format so nobody has any issues if you're not using a newer version of AutoCAD. That's not a problem. As it turns out, call me crazy, don't tell Autodesk I said this, but they don't freaking add anything that's really worth having in new versions. So unless you're doing something in like some super duper niche industry that requires you to have a new version of AutoCAD, quite frankly, dynamic blocks are like the biggest thing that happened since I started using AutoCAD in R13, which was like, what, 97. So thanks for watching. There's my rant for the day. Uh, that's it for this video. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Um, if you like this video and want to see more of it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. And I'd like to give a thanks to my patrons on Patreon. And if you feel like-minded to them, please head over to my Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash Christian Buchert. And patron up. Let's make this happen. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.